Welcome along guys. Well I'm lucky enough to be back out on track. I've not been on track once this year and then I've got two track days within four days of each other but this is no ordinary track day. This is the California Superbike School. So this is about learning your craft and improving as a rider on track and on the road come to that. So it's about eight o'clock in the morning. We're just about to start the briefing in the building back there in a minute. But first of all, it's time for a cup of tea. It was an early start. Roll the intro. today which is the Ducati Super Sport. Now I've never ridden one of these before, this is a Super Sport S which is the one with the Olins and everything. I've never ridden one so it's going to be quite interesting and then this afternoon I'm on the Panny V4 so sorry the Panny V2 so I'm with Matt from Moto. he invited me to this. Massive thanks Matt for the invite and uh, yeah so we're borrowing their bikes so big shout out to the Moto Massive. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the California Supermax. Um, I'd like to say first of all, thank you for all being here. It's uh, been a, a bit of a strange year in a lot of respects, both uh, outside in the real world and uh, with regards to the schools. So there are an awful lot of people here who've demonstrated a huge amount of faith in what the school does and and how it works and how it can help people improve the riding. The California Superbike School was founded in 1980 by Californian Keith Code. Keith's methodology has been taught to numerous championship winning riders such as Wayne Rainey, James Toslin and Leon Camia. His books, video and schools were the first to make that knowledge available to everybody. Each skill builds on the last and creates a complete package of control and confidence. The school's levels are done in order, one through to four. Each of the first three levels presents five precise technical riding skills. Each level can be completed in one day. Today, I complete level one. Well, brief and done. Very interesting. In this first session, as I say, this is uh, tuition. You know, this isn't just a track. This is about learning and improving. So after that first little classroom session, what we've got to do now is go out on track and actually not use any brakes. So go round. It's all about throttle control. Applying the throttle throughout the whole turn. So we're going to go and experiment with this. Quite interested. Once we've done the session, we then come back and we have a debrief with the instructor. So uh, wish me luck. No brakes. It's one of the things I always struggle with is my line. So this is really interesting. Now I've got to use the brakes because I've gone too quick. So turn in here, throttle out of the bend. Not allowed to use any brakes, remember. Deep steering down, steering's down, apply the throttle. Get right over there, steer it, hit the throttle. Or roll on the throttle gradually. Ending with full four, obviously. This isn't a track day, this is sort of relearning what you think you already even know, perhaps to get you used to using that throttle in steering power. The idea being when the bike is under power, under acceleration, the bike is stable. Smoothly and consistently, Chopsy, is what they say. What are you, where does the bike tend to go at that point? Online tight, or is it tight or go wide? Oh, go wide, go wide. Big corner at the back there, come this way and then we went that way. Just one, before the bike is fully set, this starts going. Okay, well that's just had my little uh, briefing. What's his name, Matt? Where's? can't remember. A little bit of briefing done, quite pleased with the progress. You know, I think I... They're not level one. 
I think I did quite well. I was quite pleased with how that went, you know, on and off the throttle. You can really feel the bike destabilise if you do close the throttle in the wrong place. So I think there's definitely something to be learned from it. So uh, I think we've got a little break now and we've got another classroom session to, I think, to build something else into it. But it is really interesting just to strip it all back and go back to basics and just see how important that throttle control is. I mean, I, I do find I often use the throttle to stabilise the bike and I do understand that. So, but it's quite interesting to force not to use the brakes and just to rely on the throttle to stabilise the bike. But uh, I'm going to get a quick coffee. session five or so i think my cameras are playing up i'm struggling to get a decent bit of onboard uh, video i think so it's a bit annoying but i'm absolutely enjoying it it's all starting to come together now des has been really good really good I had a really good session with him he said uh, it's a really nice ride which is quite uh, quite a compliment um but yeah the steering is working well where you're going from the counter steering he says what i've got to watch is i'm I'm holding on a bit tight with the right hand, with the throttle hand. As I'm counter steering with the left hand to turn right, I'm fighting it a bit with the throttle hand. He says, when he sees me loosen up like that, the bike turns in so much faster. So, of course, because you're not resisting the pressure. There's a way. What's going on? Suspension? What's going on with the file? What's happened? I've had an off. You haven't had an off? First corner. Oh. No. Oh. Schoolboy yeah. error. The file's out. Not too bad. Just a just a bit of damage on the uh, oh. yeah, a little bit of damage, and I, and I lost. Oh, okay. I lost all, the uh, all rear fixable. set. All fixable. Yes. Just. Yeah. Oh, well, you wanted to be in the video. <laughs> there you go. Maybe not for the reasons you thought. <laughs> She's gonna go around the world now. <laughs> She's as good as you. She's as good as you now. Yeah. Three gears to use. Light on the brakes. I'm trying to hold on. Grip me your knees. And apply all the other lessons you've been learning all day. Doing input. Look at that. No, no effort. Brake, 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 brake. Steer it. Nothing on the bars. Steering, light on the bars. How things just start, you know, things you've been learning all day, you just start putting it together as a whole package. Obviously, you can't do it all in one day. You know, it's. I tend to do, I'm quite light on the bars anyway. I'm pretty good on throttle control anyway. So, there's, you know, the, the, the lines is what I'm finding quite, uh, quite different. And the counter steering, like bang! Nothing on the bars, just the throttle. Force it in, counter steer it in, finish your steer, once you finish your steering then you go on the power jobs. Brake. Steer it. Oh, I'm 
Lunch, done that session. Not sure if that recorded that one. The, the Insta 360 might have locked up on me, which is oh, really annoying. But just done this counter steering track session. My god, it all started to click together the throttle control piece, the, the lines, and then the counter steering. I mean, I've never been one to counter steer much on the road. I know it happens as part of your natural riding, but I've never forcibly pushed the bar, especially on track. It really drops the bike in, gets it round the corner really tight, and you're back on the gas early and I've really enjoyed that session. Really, really enjoyed that session. It all's just starting to click together. What's the next thing we're going to be learning about? I'm going to be a riding god at the end of this. But this is the final session. This is putting everything together, what we've learned today. And this is the two-step. So this is learning to look at your turn point, to identify that first, and then don't continue to look at it, but then look at the apex, but still turn on your turn point, even though you're not looking at it. So always look towards the apex of the turn. That is the, uh, that is the idea and the purpose of the two-step. And put everything else together. Woof, this should be good. So loose on the bars, grip with the tank, turn point there, turn, and then look for the apex. The apex is here. And for the next apex it's over there loose on the bars loose on the bars loose on the bars turn point counter steer now loose again power on look at the apex look at the apex gotta go closer for the apex grip with your knees oh me and the thighs are ruined knackered there there's the turn point don't look at it look for the apex straight away next apex there power on Grip your knees, try to keep the bars loose. There's the turn point, stop looking at it, look at the apex. Miss the apex. <laughs> There's the next turn point there. Counter steer, a bit shaky on the counter steer. Turn point, apex. I've got to go a little bit careful because it's a little bit damp. Apex. For the apex! Missed it! Oh, too much front 
right there, that bulls that one out completely. As you get faster, it's trying to piece it all together. Oh, I love it. I love the new, new tricks. Let's make a marker. Loosen up on the bars. Look up there, look, look up there. Breaking down. Up the road, yeah. Ah, oh, this is brilliant. I absolutely love that. Oh, all coming together. Fantastic. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Survived it. Survived it. Survived didn't it. pull off. <laughs> yeah, you did. Again, I didn't pull off. Again. You ride really nice. So yeah. Riding's really nice. But as soon as you got your head up in that second step, yeah. um, out, out of the um, out of the second step, you like, got your head up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, really good. Yeah, brilliant. Front control there, superb. Yeah, bike yeah. steered sweetly. Yeah, it did. Lovely we bike. <laughs> to say. Well, yeah, but also you, you know, I think with the relaxation. Yeah, that did that, help. The quick steer really helped that, and the throttle control was good. So yeah. three of the big ones there. Yeah. So level one. I mean, level one, you, if you've got good experiences of those three things, you can improve your riding, yeah. whether we ever see you again or not. Yeah, no, not, I'd like do. to come but, back, yeah. You know, throttle control, quick steer, and a bit of relaxation in there. Yeah. And, and you're yeah. away, you know. And I've as soon as you relaxed... I know, I don't speed. get as tired as I normally would. Normally, after like, oh, 20 minutes, I'd be like, oh, I'm knackered, I've got to ease. Like, a couple, a couple yeah. of yeah. fast laps, and I'd be like, I'm done yeah. now. That's another benefit. Whereas, you just, yeah. you didn't, you're not doesn't yeah. tiring yourself as much, are you? For me, the bike just turns so, so much sweeter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's fantastic. I've really learned some good well, stuff. Really man, appreciate it. Really yeah, thank you very much. Ride. Cheers, Des. Well, there you go. Straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Brilliant. Really enjoyed that session. I hope some of the onboard stuff's come out because it was really good. I don't think I've ever been as fast as that on track, even though you obviously got markers. I think learning that track, oh, I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Highly recommend coming and trying this, guys. Really, really brought my riding on. And now I want to go on and do the other steps. So. Fantastic, can't thank California Superbike School enough for inviting me here. And BE Moto, BE Moto actually got me the invite, so massive thanks to Matt at BE Moto. I'm sweaty, I'm hot, I've got to go and do some steering exercises now as well, so I've got that to do. But thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you on the next one.